ก็ยุโรปมาแล้วว่าเออมองก็จะเป็นชักจะสิงเกียติมาเดี๋ยวไปเวลาเนี่ยก็ต้องจบมาแล้วเรื่องเราจะจับยุโรปมาแล้วว
ever since I was about 10 years of age, I learned and tried to practice these 37 bodhisattva practices. If you have bodhicitta in your heart and you have the teachings of the sublime dharma, you are a practitioner. The very renowned Kunurimbuche, a champion of uh, bodhicitta, had this to say. He said, if you are well versed in all aspects of dharma teachings and do not have Bodhicitta in your heart. It is like a uh, person without life force. A person without life force is a corpse. And if you do not have loving kindness and compassion, then any amount of Dhamma practice you do is of very little consequence. I myself am not a scholar. And I do not know a great deal of Dhamma teachings outside of the 37 Bodhisattva practices. But then 37 Bodhisattva practices form the essence of all Buddha's Dhamma teachings. Sangi I said there are two bodhicittas. We have the absolute bodhicitta, which is the origin, originator of all enlightened beings. And when we have Which one of you is responsible for that? <laughs> for as long as you have a mind, you have the uh, necessary seed for enlightenment. We call that the essence of the Buddhas. The essence of Buddha is a state of mind which is completely free of conceptual thoughts. Essence of the Buddha is, if we use an example, a bucket full of uh, completely pure water which is fit for human consumption. Now when you start putting things, adding things in that water and stir it up, then a murkiness will develop. The murkiness which is obscuring one's own Buddha nature is attachment and grasping. Attachment and grasping arise out of afflictive emotions. Buddha taught us that there are 84,000 different types of afflictive emotions. We need to get rid of these afflictive emotions. To do that, we need antidotal weapon to fight them. 
The antidote to afflictive emotions is altruistic mind to benefit other beings, which means relative bodhicitta. Then you tell the great Homer, Namuro, which are a song. Then you tell Kayanata, Tari Yimping, something did it, something of that sort of identity. ปปกินเนี่ยจะวางสุกเลยติจิตีวางสุกติจิตีสปะดงิจัมซอนเตตินิออลเดวาเลจอร์ทอลตอปตันเนปะวางจาทอปเดวาเตเซเรเตตินิ
Dharmakaya state of being does not go or come because our Lokitesvara is already an enlightened being. Enlightened being means one who has already awoken from attachment and expanded to the very limits of expansion the huge expense of the true nature. So, enlightened beings, samsara, nirvana, these things neither come nor go because the case of the mind stream of our Lokiteswara is like the space itself. And our Lokiteswara always strives to benefit mother sentient beings, which is completely unlike we ordinary sentient beings. Our efforts are directed towards selfish ends because our nature is obscured by 84,000 afflictive emotions. Of these, the six most strong and powerful obscurations result us taking rebirth in the six realms of existence, which is labeled as samsara. So, homage or the respect is paid to one's lama or spiritual friend and chendrasi or awaloki teswara. And the reason for paying respect and homage is because awaloki teswara always works to benefit sentient beings. And for that purpose, we pay homage to our Lokiteswara with deep respect. There are three different types. The first one is respect arising out of inspiration. We are inspired because of the qualities of our Lokiteswara. Second kind of devotion is because we have a firm belief in our Lokiteswara, resulting from our understanding of how cause and effect works. Third kind of uh, faith in our Lokiteswara is because we have the need and want to uh, leave behind samsara and towards that end we need the guidance and the leadership of someone like our Lokiteswara. And for that reason, with respect, we pay homage to Lokeshwara. <laughs> ที่พิมพ์เนี่ยเดี๋ยวก็มาบ่เยอะเด้อโอ้ร้านโหนเลยจ้ะเนี่ยก็พิมพ์บาดตาคังเรเลจุมเดียวเราไม่บาดชิง
Rala Pimba Sanji, Chuku Jasas and Sanji Kosum, you won't think talk of your eh? Gila Pimba, Rang Chuku Jasas, Sin, eh? Gina, Long Cot, Zoker, Sempty to Pad me by chair to go your eh? Rala Pimba, Gina Deva. That the new, dear Tamche, Kangi songs. Kangi song, Tabi Chul Mochil song, eh? Tabi Chushi by the Kangi, oh. That Sanji Tom Dindig. ヒャネスを Text one is the perfect Buddha's source of benefit and happiness arise from accomplishing the sublime Dharma. And as that accomplishment depends on knowing the Dharma practices, I'll explain the Bodhisattva's practices. Source of happiness, source of benefit and happiness. And this has a, a very kind of profound meaning. Source of happiness and benefit. And in another way, we can interpret this as temporary uh, benefit. Temporary benefit is understanding the infallible nature of cause and effect relationship. And you will come to this kind of conclusion, conclusion that cause and effect relationship is absolutely infallible. After you have an understanding of what sublime dharma is, what this means is, if you generate loving kindness and compassion, there will be peace and happiness. If you have attachment and grasping, it will result to pain and suffering. The kind of pain and suffering that you have right now is a result of your past attachment and grasping. And the kind of attachment and grasping you have right now is continuously creating pain and suffering of the future. So if you understand this, then Confess all your past violations and uh, make a resolution saying that with remorse feeling you will not repeat the same kind of mistakes again. And then with these kind of confession and, and making a pledge, and if you are able to generate loving kindness and compassion, then this loving kindness and compassion is likened to a wish fulfilling jewel. So, we said one way of interpreting loving kindness and uh, compassion is it brings about temporary benefit. That's one. And also it brings about, uh, ultimately it brings about lasting peace and happiness, which is the actualization of the Buddha. Or as it says, the source of benefit and happiness, you can say bodhicitta is... Mm, beneficial to others and brings about peace and happiness to one's own mind.
and it is beneficial to oneself too because um, the one will ultimately because of loving kindness and compassion actualize the three kayas of the Buddha or the three uh, bodies of the enlightened being. One will reach the Dhammakaya state of Buddhahood and one can benefit others through your Sambhogakaya and Urupakaya manifestations. And from where do we get all these kind of benefits and powers? They come from the practice of sublime dharma. And what is that sublime dharma practice, you may ask? And that sublime dharma practice is the teachings of the Buddha. And to practice the teachings of the Buddha, you need to seek for the guidance of a spiritual friend or a lama because you need to actually put those teachings into practice. Just having the Dharma teachings accessible alone is not enough. So therefore, here as stated in the book, goes on to say, I will explain the Bodhisattva's practices. Bodhisattvas here in the Tibetan, original in the Tibetan, it says, the prince and the princess of the monarch, to refer to the Bodhisattvas, like not just mere sons and daughters, but with utmost honorific name, a prince and princess. ดีนั่นเลยจะรู้เสียสังเกตเสียจะสังเกตเรียกโยปาตามีก็สังเกตเสียแล้วเราอย่างนั้นสุราสังเกตสังชกเสียมันเลยที่สังเกตเสียงู
ตาตาตาราญีนิกาสิมจีตะราญจกุสามละทิปามีบาริโคสังกิสาเลทเจมาเรตโอราญีนิกาสามละโอยินพีเกลอจินะรังสังเจโรยอติสนะตินิราญี
So that's why teaches us when you are born as a human being with all these wonderful qualities, listen to the teachings, so reflect on the teachings and meditate on the teachings. And these kind of uh, actions are the actions of the Bodhisattva. The new Kuru down to Kuru go yet a county, Tower County, then a pena, or the Kuru ne Devala Shane, Kowala Charlie, the Nishine, or the No Charlotte in the Kowala Kuru go your head. Then a pena de same dinner, new mob of Toko Canada, Dala Charlie, Yuna Tang, or the Chadang Yatore, Chadang is the Kanga Chedra. Dunning to the mind of attachment to loved ones wavers like water, the mind of hatred of enemies burns like fire, the mind of ignorance that forgets what to adapt and what to discard is generally obscure, greatly obscured. Abandoning one's fatherland is the Bodhisattva's practice. Why are we lingering in samsara? That is because we are attached to sense pleasures. We are attached to samsara because of our desire and attachment. We are born in a born and reborn in cyclic existence. The reason behind all this is the afflictive emotions. The main afflictive emotions are attachment and aversion. We are attached to uh, our nearest and dearest. We are averse to our enemies. When we have attachment and aversion, then it is like pouring some dye in a clean bucket of water. The color and the transparency of the clean bucket of water is uh, obscured by the dye. These afflictive emotions, attachment and aversion, obscure our Buddha nature. And it arises from ignorance. Ignorance really means not seeing the true nature and having attachment and aversion. That's why it says the bodhisattvas will abandon one's own homeland and go to a secluded place and practice. But we who aspire to be bodhisattvas cannot do that. We cannot abandon our homeland and run away to some secluded place. What we have to run away from is attachment and aversion. <laughs> Ranga <laughs> When we treat sentient beings, classify them as friends and enemies, these are all because of our past karma. 
what is considered as our enemy is one to whom you have failed to pay back for kindness in former lives. And what is uh, and uh, uh, your friends and relatives who are very close to you in this life have once upon a time been your uh, enemies. So that is how, because of your karma, how things work. So when you understand this, then clinging on to attachment and aversion is nothing but delusion. That's why it calls for equanimity. Tell <laughs> Then Third, when the harmful places are abandoned, disturbing emotions gradually diminish. Without destruction, virtuous endeavors naturally increase. Being clear minded, definite understanding of the Dharma arises. Resorting to secluded place is the Bodhisattva's practice. When you understand that attachment and aversion uh, are negative, and then you will uh, not, you will be able to overcome uh, other afflictive emotions because the others are uh, easier to conquer. If you do not have distractions out there, then it will be easier to practice and increase your uh, wisdom. When you increase your wisdom, then you will have a deeper understanding of the Dharma. The separation of what is virtuous versus what is non-virtuous. When you have wisdom, increased wisdom, you will also be able to see the true nature of mind. So if you are able to go to a secluded place where there are no hustle and bustle, it is conducive to your Dhamma practice. But here the message really is, the real message is trying to lessen and ultimately get rid of afflictive emotions from your mind stream, not the removal of your physical body from uh, your Wherever you are. Mm. <laughs>
Number four, long associated companions will part from each other. Wealth and possessions obtained with effort will be left behind. Consciousness, the guest will cast aside the guest house of the body. Letting go of this life is the Bodhisattva's practice. So we have a lot of attachment and grasping. We have attachment and grasping to our dear friends, all the wealth and possession we have accumulated. This physical body of ours, to all this, we have a great deal of attachment and grasping. And practically every single effort that we put in our daily lives is aimed at uh, accumulating uh, and centered around self. And the net result is one's rebirth in the three lower realms of existence. So the not so wise or rather foolish ones would not understand what lies ahead of them in the future, what the future has in store for them. If you understand that it is very important to uh, work towards benefiting not only in this life but in your future, then uh, that becomes an important uh, uh, part of your practice. And the bodhisattvas will always strive to benefit uh, them in the future. ตนี้เดี๋ยวตาเดี๋ยวมึงกี่วิธีปั้นกี่วิธีปั้นตีอยู่ส่วนนั้นตอนนี้ทําอย่างเดี๋ยวตะโกนเข้าเลยอันนี
and negativities you come across, you have to take these into the path, transform them into qualities. And if you are able to do this, then you have perfected one of the six parameters, which is patience. And it will be talked about later on in one of the items. ตาเมื่อมีเกิดเมื่อตาเป็นยังเมื่อเกิดยังตาเป็นเป็นน่ะตาตาเจ้าเกิดเป็นน่ะที่ชุดละอ๋อเลยที่นี่บัดชิมบ
呃,工作者的家庭有个人,看了就会来,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,的,
either your navel or the two other lower apertures and be born in the three lower realms of existence. Bodhicitta, on the other hand, is like a wish-fulfilling jewel. Therefore, not abandoning this wish-fulfilling jewel like bodhicitta is the practice of bodhisattvas. เออเดี๋ยวเปลี่ยนโทรศัพท์เดี๋ยวจงเดี๋ยวอะไรเดี๋ยวเกิดเลยที่นี่จงเกิดอยู่เลยเกิดจริงๆมาเจ็บเดี
ตัวเดาทําเจสวยเนาะพม่ามาจีบโยมาริสมิติลําลําลําเซมเนยุงกุริจีวิจิงทองนั้นเตพม่าเจริสมิเซมเนตายุงกุยอเรนางบาสิย
So these are the practice of bodhisattvas. ถ้าสาธุสิ่งที่เจ็บอ่ะล่ะนี่ปัจเจกตัมเบตยังอยู่เลยเปิ้ลน่ะอ่าท่านที่ตะตะทําเนี่ยตรงนี้เดวะเล
Number 13, even if others cut off one's head when one is utterly blameless, taking upon oneself all their negative deeds by the power of compassion is a bodhisattva's practice. When you are completely blameless, because of past karmic consequence, you are blamed. A lot of these things had happened in the past when Buddhas and Bodhisattvas were murdered. And without any fault of your own, if someone comes and decapitates you, you must train the mind and be prepared not to lose your bodhicitta. The physical body is discarded many, many times. It's just like a change of clothes. Now, if you lose your body, chitta, then it will have grave consequence. So instead of losing your body, chitta, you should wish the perpetrator well. You should pray for him or her. Because the Buddhas of the past did, in their aspirational prayers, they said, those who come and harm me, those who beat me up, those who take my life, may they be able to sow the seed for omniscience. So even if it means your own life, not letting go of bodhicitta is the practice of bodhisattvas. Mm. Ah. Tickle ほんと Item number 14, even if someone broadcasts throughout the billion worlds of all sort of offensive remarks about one, speaking in turn of that person's qualities with a loving mind is the bodhisattva's practice. When someone says something unpleasant about you, think about it. If you do not know how to listen to that sound, one single negative word is going to impact you for years and generate a lot of anger. And when you generate anger, it is going to affect you negatively. What difference does it make if someone says something wonderful about you and you are not wonderful? <laughs> what difference does it make if you are... Uh, if you... <laughs> The same thing applies the other way around. <laughs> See, when you concentrate too much about the next sentence, then you forget to kind of switch it the other way around. <laughs> okay. So when someone says something negative about you, 
respond to that statement with something very positive. And that is going to cause that person shame. So when you say something nice about the person in reply, all those who hear your reply, they are going to like it. And if you kind of dig up the faults of other uh, beings, that is not conforming to Bodhisattva's practice. ลักปัดเดตันโรมันดิเปิ้ลสังกาจิกันทั้งเนบุจิทึนนานะยอนสงลักปัดเดงโซตะตาสาจุเซมจีออเลงุนีเดสาจุเซมจีเตสัมปา
the honey and the sugar and all this. You know? <laughs> so you should have that kind of attitude. So, and the last one, Rama says, okay, if you want to beat me up, come on, go ahead, beat me up, ungwa, means sugar or honey, come on. <laughs> ああ、ね、ゲームをおるぞ。ああ。で、ただ、ただ、で、人に<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> ディナナランゲユルボチョンカンキナティセワテンガサチョクセミサダモテセムゾンゴヨレペラオランドトポザイナオタイユルボナニレワチワデイジョンホーバルレワレテイヤネアンツセワンダガサチョクセミセンピタ
동해 당돌리 만들다 당제 강연이나 당돌리 볼까미 샘미연바 동해 당입길 아소바 아 강연이 동해 시바디 끼나바 나초리 동해 기 생물들 대와다 동해 니 뜻바도 요 말해 강연은 만들바디 동해 대용감이 오 소소라 동해 시바디 만들바 용감이 샘기 탐지를 만들바 용고 찍바래 되는 샘기 탐지가 찹 아이, 자, 똥이 시바자, 대리, 우보 샘지 담지가 등에 탐대, 자, 대화 용감이, 오, 나가 대화 듣다 샘지 탐지에 더 토발이 좋아서 호화지, 등에 감춰 똥이지, 아, 들리지, 아, 뭐, 요, 들리, 니, 쩔고 반대, 니 바타, 지금 로망적, 들리, 양, 아지, 아지, 치라, 양, 아지, 농구리, 감, 따장, 샘, 쌍마 천억이 되었더니 강양 많이 봐. 어래 샘 쌍마 제고요. 아제리라 조금 말해. 빠시면 안 되게 말해. 강자전들다 떼다 골하오네. 그거. And the next one is uh, item number seventeen. 做为朋友大的美, and when sometimes when you get intimidated and look down and belittled, and this item number 17 is taking these kind of unfavorable situations into the path. And the number 18. And the same thing, you know, it also taking misfortune into the path. And uh, when you are suffering pain, uh, you are going through pain and suffering, and accepting pain and suffering, and not kind of getting completely broken down and overwhelmed is uh, one way of making sure that the mind stays on track. Suffering really means it is caused by a, or, or a whole lot of causes and conditions. Suffering really means something that is uh, not uh, wanted or needed. An aversion brings pain and suffering. So when you take this kind of into part, instead of crying about it, take these misfortunes into the path. We normally practice tongle. When you practice tongle, whatever kind of unfortunate circumstance you are having to face, it may be challenges, it may be, you know, uh, a lot of pain in your heart, maybe anything. And then immediately you think that others might, other sentient beings might be undergoing similar situations. And then say to yourself that, you know, I am taking upon my shoulder all the pain and suffering, similar pain and suffering faced by others. And whenever you have peace and happiness in your mind, then extend those pain and happiness and peace to all sentient beings. And wish that all sentient beings will, will have happiness and peace that you are experiencing. Item number 19 is about um, taking... Uh, egocentric pride into the path. The one's nature of mind is like a pristine and clean water. When you have this egocentric pride, it pollutes the nature of your mind. Uh, so. <laughs> 
ဟိုတာခုဒေသညာဆခံပါကျင်းတဲ့မထပါတယ်နိတော်ပါတယ်နိတနေတဲ့တော်ကျက်တလမောင်းတော်ရောတယ်ချေစမာယောင်တနိည
Sem kali dene nam to ta nyu mu ba la de ban zene ni te la kan ko ji ba da ko ba de te ka tro bi ore ti ni tsor sem la ta na sem ko nang dene ta 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 ji tak che ta bi ta tra ba de ti ni nam ka ta ba pe na ti ta ta ko so di sa do ke de che na ti ni wo me che ba na tro ba ti ni song ko ore ta 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 so tak che ta na pe na sem ko nam to me be sem ti ga ti ni te ga la うん。てね、なんかあったら、さっとんすんじゅうじゅうれ。え、セミドネ、トゥベン、トゥベンタラタ、そんな。あれ。さるごとんま、とんもんは、さわじの。お、セムタタゲトナ、なんとめ、セム
Uh, it says... Interdependent in origination <laughs> and uh, with that it has to have a melody so that was the melody <laughs> so it is that the nature of uh, that mind is uh, free of this dualistic Grasping, no subject, no object, no conceptual thoughts, no afflictive emotions. And in that state, it is something, you know, clearly uh, experienced, but like a rainbow which does not have uh, any uh, kind of independent uh, reality. ทีนี้ตามมองมาแล้วตาตรงโชว์我就得落他把接的,你可能就不得去呢,他他妈的就有他把接的呢,你把的你把钱不要的,我的,然后你钱不要他们这个得的,我的,呃,得了他们这个你接接,你,三种钱得马头里的呢,这三年可能得不呢
When I have questions, I ask my questions and find answers from the 37 Bodhisattva practices. And which says, my own mind is my own witness. It doesn't matter what other, how others will receive the decisions that I make. Making my own mind as my own witness, I find the answers and solutions from the 37 Bodhisattva practices. If you are a genuine practitioner, then whatever things you do, you must do uh, in the presence of, uh, you must do using your own mind as your witness. And you all have a lot of love, from which it says, and thank you very much. Thank you.